Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Showtime. This is going to be part number three. You're probably looking at this house and thinking, if you saw part two, this is not the same house you just had, Jen. What, 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 what's going on here? Um, the other house had a lot of problems and things like that, so I just went over and came to this house, which I like far, far, far better anyway. Um, I don't know, I feel like it's a lot nicer, it has a lot more room. I even added this extra bedroom. This is just a house that I think came with the original base game, but for some reason, um, let me pause this for a second, but for some reason, there wasn't very many houses in Twinbrook, so I decided just to kind of place this here and build onto it to fit my needs, and I guess I could give you guys a quick, you know, house tour if you, if you want to see it. Uh, this is the living room, not a lot going on here. Actually, it's a lot more spacious, which is great. We have a half wall and then like an L-shaped, oh, kitchen. Oh my gosh. We have no shower. Oh, okay. So I kind of like deleted a few things and rearranged a lot. Um, and now I realize that I kind of screwed myself out of a shower. <laughs> so I don't know. I think, I think we're going to have to rough it. Uh, she goes to work in about a couple hours here. We are so broke, you guys, that it's, it's like we can't even afford a freaking um, babysitter for the kids. So Unfortunately, he gets paid the least, so I think he's going to have to stay home tonight, which is fine. Um, so we can get some money at least to maybe afford uh, afford <laughs> a shower or something like that. Anyway, so this is pretty much what it is. This is Kirsten's room, the kids' room, and then uh, the added-on room, I think. And this one is Jake's. So pretty much what we have going on right now, I was trying to have her potty train, or not potty train, but whatchamacallit, um, teach Connor here how to walk because he actually ages up in a couple days. Anyway, he really, 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 really likes Connor. I don't know. He's just like a really good father figure. But keep in mind, our intention is just to kind of keep Jake single and Kirsten single. She just moved in to, you know, get on her feet and things like that. So I'm not really trying to make them romantic or have him too. Oh my gosh, he's extremely attached um, to Connor. Wow. Is that his son? No, it's not even his son. Anyway, we are going to have Jake call in fake sick because, like I said, we can't even afford a babysitter right now, so it's the best that we can do, um, unfortunately. <laughs> what is she doing? Holly. Check out new object. Let's see, and she starts work in about an hour. His boss says, sorry to hear you got sick. Feel better soon. <laughs> if you only knew. If you only knew. Um, so we'll just have him work out. I think Casey is at school. Actually, let's check the weather real quick. We can check the weather on the TV. And this TV is seriously like 1970s, people. We need a new one ASAP. But we definitely need to get our priorities in check and get a shower. So let's see what the weather is like. Right now it is 76 degrees and there's two days until fall. Okay, so it looks like it's sunny uh, with a high of 85 and a low of 60. Tuesday, it's going to be raining, which sucks because, of course, that's leisure day. Uh, Wednesday, sunny. Thursday, heavy rain, light rain, sunny, blah, blah, blah. Which, these change all the time. What it says is usually not what it sticks to. So, um, I think she needs to get ready to go to work. Let's see if she needs anything. We'll put Connor down here and let him play with the little toy box. Or maybe we'll have Jake teach him how to walk for a little bit. Um... Not exactly sure. I kind of wanted to have him go check out the summer festival, but it's not like we really have any money. So I think we're going to have Jake end up going to the library to do some online dating to place his profile and see if there's any available bachelorettes, uh, if you get what I'm trying to say. And I think he's going to have to take Connor, unfortunately, because like I said earlier, we don't have any money whatsoever. Um, of course, we're not going to tell Kirsten that we're going to go to the library and look for girls, if you see what I'm saying, because I don't really think she'd be down for that. But we're going to pick up Connor and then take a trip to the library. Casey is still in school. Maybe after that, um, oh, she wants to sign up for an actress after school activity. Maybe after that, we'll have her uh, go check out the festival just to kind of see what there is. Unfortunately, she doesn't have very much money, but I mean, just to, you know, check it out. Let me see here. Where is the library? Nope, that's the bookstore. Um, library, okay. So, visit Lakeside Community Library with 
Connor Springston. So Casey ages up in five days, and let's see if we can sign up for after school activity. Ballet or scouting? Oh, really quick, I just wanted to kind of share with you guys a mod I installed, and it is called the NRS. <laughs> Yeah, it's I don't know if it's RAS. I don't I don't know. Anyway, it's a mod and it looks like that right there. N R A S S or A A S, whatever. Um, and basically, it's a mod that helps fix a lot of the glitches in your town. Have you ever gone to the laundromat? Say you have late night and all the, you know, laundry machines are completely full with laundry of sims that aren't even there anymore or have forgotten or have you ever seen like a sim stuck in your world or a car randomly in the street basically this little override mod um or mod is kind of like a little you know disc cleanup for your computer kind of thing but except for your sims game it cleans out all the junk you can set the time sim hour that you want it to do it and it actually makes your game run a lot more efficiently a lot more efficiently like in my game it lags super hard in create a sim but it i just noticed a very significant difference and it really does help and it also gives you feedback in the form of these like little tabs here saying what it's cleaned up how much it's done and you know if any of your sims were stuck and things like that so if you do see the little um n ras thing popping up on my sims when they click things or whatever um, that is what that's for if you want more information about it just shoot me a message Casey is now officially signed up uh, for ballet class so we're gonna have her visit the summer festival by her lonesome which is pretty damn sad but the whole family will go um, tomorrow I guess you could kind of call them a family and Jake and Connor are now at the lakeside library so we're gonna hopefully they have computers here because I don't remember. I've not played this town in ages. Looks like there's quite a few people coming, um, so maybe we need to speed it up. Oh my gosh, there's only one computer. So we are going to, let's see, online dating. Create profile, because he doesn't have one yet. And I think he has pretty good traits, so I don't feel the need like we're going to have to lie. Let's see if there's anything wrong about Mr perfection here uh, he's a little rebellious so ladies might see that as a challenge but personally for me i kind of see it as a guy who uh doesn't let a woman tell him what to do doesn't let nobody tie him down he does definitely have a little bit of a wild streak so i don't know i don't know if we should lie or tell the truth but you know what we're gonna be honest here and um just kind of tell him how it is <laughs> all right so we're gonna create his profile and online dating it shows kind of like Pretty much a lot about yourself, I guess you would say. It's pretty, pretty open and out there. Um, so this is a little picture, kind of like his little, you know, snapshot. Uh, no ducky faces or peace signs. He's, he's just, you know, stud muffin supreme in this one. I like it. And he has his little sign, which is a cancer. His name's Jake. I wish he could kind of, like, change that. I don't know. It'd be fun. Uh, his traits and everything else seem to be pretty legit. We're going to be honest. Um, his body type is slim. But we really, really feel like we're athletic. But, yeah. Alright, we're not going to lie. We're not going to lie. So we're going to click Save Profile. And now we are on. Uh, let's check Online Dating. Browse Profiles. Because, you know, Jake really, really wants to get out there. He hasn't dated in a while. And holy macro cat. Mm -mm -mm, we are not touching your kitty. Anyway. <laughs> oh, wait. Winbrook. You're killing me. <clears throat> oh. No. I'm not trying to be judgmental, but, I mean, these ladies. All right, so I'll show you guys what we got so far, because the other ones are loading. Loading. I don't even know what I was trying to say. So this is Kat. Okay? She's a little older. Uh, it says she's athletic. Could be. Um, she's a Aries, and she's childish, flirty, mean-spirited over emotional and she's a potty animal mm, yeah she definitely didn't lie on that one uh favorite food is hot dogs and she loves latin and a favorite color is lime ah uh, hell no so i'm not interested in cat julian she's all right um she is ambitious flirty natural cook snob workaholic okay um slim you know, she likes music, whatever. <laughs> we can send her a message. Uh, let's also check out a few other profiles real quick. He's having a problem with the computer. <laughs> oh, how's Connor? Okay, Connor's doing good. So we're also going to check out a couple more profiles. I think we'll find one more person to reach out to, if you know what I mean. 
Um, let's see. Oh no, Connor's taking a liking to his little imaginary doll. <gasps> oh. Okay. So there's Silver and Taryn. We'll click Taryn. Um, Silver's Taryn. She's athletic, charismatic. She's a diva. Um, easily impressed, flirty, and she loves vegetarian chili. Her favorite music is like electronica, and her favorite color is spiceberry. And she says she's athletic. We will definitely be sending Taryn a message. Okay. So I think we're pretty much done with um, the library scene. Connor is playing with his doll. These <laughs> people must think that Jake's a terrible um, babysitter. And yeah, I think that's about it. So let's go ahead and meet up with Casey if we can. Um, we'll go to the summer festival. I don't know what she's doing. I think she's just kind of standing there. But we're going to go here with Connor and let's check her out. Looks like she's going to participate in the eating contest, which is perfect. Hopefully she doesn't die because I know a lot of people have been having that problem with their Sims that enter the eating contest. Like they somehow eat a lot, but die. Like I think that's a terrible way to go. Maybe they choked on a hot dog. I mean, that's completely possible. When I was a kid, you guys, um, like four or five, maybe, I don't know. But my mom and I, like the whole family went to like this Italian restaurant and I had like one of those like Polish sausages or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, long story short, choked on the damn thing in front of the whole dining room. Embarrassing. I've never seen my mother get up so quick in her life. She almost lost her pants. No joke. So it looks like it's going to be Casey and Parker Prudence. I don't know if anyone else is going to um, be joining us for this eating contest. Hopefully. I don't know. I think he's here. She is still working. Um, she gets off at 9 o'clock. Kirsten. I <laughs> probably should specify who I'm talking about. Let's see. She wants to teach Connor how to talk. Learn a cooking skill. Take a class in the cooking skill and meet a supernatural. Let's see. We have now We Keen and a random deer passing on through. Wow. All right. So it looks like we have quite a few people who are going to be joining this eating contest. And she just totally took off. All right. Let's see. Oh, Casey's in the lead. I hope she wins. <laughs> She's scarfing those bad boys down. <laughs> I can hear Connor screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, you're a natural. He's already got it. I don't even have to tell the kid to feed him. He's he's just on it. He's such a good guy. Ugh, he's going to be a great daddy someday. And they are still going. Chowing down on the Oscar Myers. Okay, so we have a little opportunity here. And it's called Insider Dining. It says the restaurant needs a little help boosting patronage. So they'd like you to bring someone with you to eat at the restaurant. Though you could provide your own companion and pick up the tab, your boss will ensure that your job performance is completely is appropriately compensated. Eat with others. Huh. She doesn't have anybody to eat with. That's sad. I think she's going to invite Jake. I don't know. I don't know if I should have her invite Jake. Oh my god, that little turd won. God damn it, Parker. Poor Casey. I thought you had that. Come on. Nothing else to see here. We're going to let her finish that up. Um, Connor's having a great old time bashing his <laughs> bottle on the ground. Let's see. Is there anything free um, to pick up? Actually, I guess I could just show you guys around really quick the summer festival in Twinbrook. Um, over here, it looks like there's a little... I don't know how to say that. I don't know. You throw random stuff and knock them over. Uh, there is the skating rink, rollerblading rink, whatever. Um, snow cone machine. You can make all different sorts of snow cones. We're probably going to have him make one because I think it's free. Uh, looks like over here is the hot dog contest, which you guys just saw. Random deer sometimes may be included. <laughs> uh, trampoline, that comes with ambitions, I think. Uh, we have the soccer goal, which you guys probably saw in part one. Um, there's a lot more here to do than in my other game, um, Bridgeport. There was, like, really nothing. We also have the spray tan machine, which we can't afford. Story of our lives. Hopefully that will change fairly soon because I am tired of being broke like a joke. It's, it's not fun. We have a couple um, stands here. 
which I'm not exactly sure how much things cost, but we can't really spend money. Like we just we just can't afford it. So um, there's those things, and then the take a greeting card photo and get your face painted, which we can't afford neither. So looks like we're just gonna have him come over here, Sir Jake, and pick out a snow cone. I think we'll go for cherry, cause no, no, we gotta do blue blue raspberry, cause that's like the best ever. It says Parker is top dog in this eating competition. He won a week's worth supply of hot dogs and bragging rights. Well, congratulations. <laughs> and look at Jake, enjoying his sick day, watching someone else's children and eating his blue raspberry snow cone. What a lucky, lucky man. And she is sick from eating too fast. Uh, we'll also let her pick out a snow cone just because, you know, at least we could say we did something at the summer festival. And then I think we're gonna head home. Kirsten's gonna be home in a little bit and probably wonder where Jake has taken her children. So yeah, that's what we all do. So because Jake ate that snow cone, it looks like he got a mood lit for 10 plus or for 10 plus points or whatever you want to call it. Geez, let's not get technical here. It says raspberry romance. When the sun is high in the sky, the flowers are blooming and there's a raspberry snow cone in Jake's hand. He can't help but think of love. Yeah, that's that's cute. Um, she has her little snow cone here, and it's all rainbowy and pretty. Uh, we're not going anywhere until she finishes that thing, because I mean, at least she gets something out of it. Um, little Connor's just sitting on the ground. It looks like it is 62 degrees outside, and Jake and Casey are just chilling. And some random guy be beaten up. What the hell? Some random guy's just gonna come up and beat you up at the freaking summer festival? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. And look at her, she's just eating her snow cone. I'm like, this is the best day ever, mom. Oh my gosh. Check. Oh my god. <laughs> this is terrible. This is like Jerry Springer, Sim style. And of course, Jake kicked his butt. They're all coming here with their snow cones. Look at this. Nothing to see here, boys. Nothing to see here. Oh my gosh. That's what I'll teach you, Sinbad. Rotter. Oh my gosh. I, really? Like, who does that? You don't even know me. You just come and beat me up. Is it because of my shirt or my... Or you, I know. You were jealous of my snow cone. That's all I have to say. Oh my gosh. Seriously, you guys, if this is any indication of what's to come in my Let's Plays... I'll be happy. That's all I have to say. <laughs> this never happens in my actual game. Anyway, so we got a few new notifications. Things are going a little fast for me. So, um, the first thing, check online dating messages. The anticipation is killing your sim. Check the computer to see if his dating profile got any hits. We definitely will have to do that. Um, she's on her way home. And she's also got the Raspberry Romance Moodlet. Oh, Connor's upset. He's tired and sweepy. So, yeah, that was a pretty eventful day at the uh, festival, right? Um, I'm going to have everyone just kind of go home, lay low for the rest of the night, and then tomorrow we will enjoy what the summer festival and leisure day has to bring. Hopefully, Jake won't get beat up anymore because I cannot even believe that crap happens. So, yeah, um, he is already here. He is quick. Kirsten's home. I wonder how she feels about that. She doesn't care. She's going straight to bed. Okay, I guess that means it's your duties. He crapped his pants again. Poor Connor. I swear he's probably never going to apply change. And Jake already changed his diaper, and I didn't even have to tell him. You're awesome, Jake. Casey is going to use the bathroom, brush her teeth, and then we'll have her go to sleep and uh, Jake needs to use the bathroom too um, he wants to have his face painted hmm take a photo greeting card and do a cardio workout do we know anybody no we just know that butt munch who decided it'd be a great idea to try to kick our butts but couldn't do it um, no 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 don't go no, no don't go to sleep in there Jake all right use the bathroom and sleep. I don't know why there's sun in Kirsten's room. Like, it's like nighttime. Kind of weird. Um, she's probably going to get shooed out because he. I don't think he would do that right in front of her. 
dweeple, Og. No. Okay, good. <laughs> At least you know he's not a pedophile. Okay. Collect festival tickets. Um, let's see what else she wants to do. Jake wants to buy food from the concession stand. Um, Kirsten Ooh, is oh. pretty much all about work. Um, she wants to read Connor to sleep. So, well, we can do that. Uh, she also wants to sing karaoke. And what else? Um, she also wants to pillow fight with the sim. And Jake broke the toilet. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> Not yet. It is 57 degrees outside right now. He also wants to collect some festival tickets um, and buy an exercise machine. And we have 236 simoleons, which is fantastic. Alrighty, so it looks like everyone is fast asleep and they've had quite the eventful day. I kind of felt like this part was short, but I looked back on a few clips and realized actually a lot kind of did happen. Um, so we're going to go ahead and end this part here. Tomorrow will be leisure day and everyone will be off from school and work so we will head on over to the summer festival hopefully pretty early in the morning and go out try some of the new content there, buy some stuff because we actually have some money and hopefully it'll be a whole lot of fun and Jake won't get beat up by any more random strangers. I don't know but we're also going to make sure that we check our um, online pr dating profile messages just to see if any of the two bachelorettes have uh, answered us back. So I think that pretty much wraps it up for this part. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you all in my very next Let's Play.